Okay, everyone. So you got your big Bubba Four Sounds wireless car horn. You got the box here, guys. Should come with the remote control. Should come with the uh, USB cable. You plug the USB cable into this port here on the horn, and you plug the other end of the USB cable to your computer to upload your own sounds. So it's really simple, guys. Your black wire here from your horn. I'll go to a ground somewhere. It could be your battery or just anywhere you got a good ground source in your vehicle. Red wire coming from your horn. You go to a 12 volt power source. It could be your battery. A fuse, just anywhere you got a good 12 volt power source. So, like I said, it's a really simple process, guys. And we'll skip over to the next video here in a second. Uh, we'll show you how to upload. You know, plug your uh, USB cable right in here until you're there, and then you take your other end and plug it into your computer, and then you'll be uploading your own sound. So, that's a really easy process, guys. So, let's go over to the next video. Okay, everyone, we got a big Bubba Four Sounds programmable car horn. Uh, it has a USB cable, so you can upload your own four sounds to it. This is our wireless version, so this one holds four sounds. Um, USB cable comes out of the horn right here, right? And it comes with a cable. So it comes with a USB cable, which is included with the unit. I'll show you here real quick. Um, it comes with the cable, so you all do is simply just plug this cable in right here. One end is inside the horn, okay? Right here, and one side of the horn. It only go in one way. If you try to push it in one way, it doesn't go in. You need to push it out, push it the other way, and turn it, okay? So, go ahead and just simply plug this thing into your, one of your USB ports in your computer, guys. Um, front, back, with this, and so happens on this computer, so it happens to be in the front of the computer. We have some in the back as well. Uh, but you just simply plug that cable into your USB port on your horn, and then you simply just go ahead and plug it into one of your ports right here. And it'll only go one way, guys. The USB port will only fit in one way inside the computer. If it doesn't fit in, then turn it the other way. And then you'll give you prompted on your computer that you have... Uh, another drive and it should pop up on your computer so you can go ahead and delete the sounds and install your own sounds. So we'll go over to the computer here and show you that. Hey everyone, after we plug in our Big Bubba 4 Sounds wireless car horn into our computer, we'll see a screen pop up that looks like this. It looks similar like this. This is a Windows 7 computer. You might have a Windows 10 computer. Uh, different versions of Windows might look a little different, but it basically it'll pop up just like a thumb drive or, or an external storage device on your computer and ask you to uh, open it. Okay, so what you do is simply open it up. And what we'll see is we'll see preloaded sound that's already on them. We already preloaded, have preloaded uh, cow, donkey, horse, and rooster. And you can leave them if on there if you want. If not, just, just highlight them all. And you're going to delete them all, right? Highlight it and hit the delete button on your keyboard and confirm. Or just highlight them all and then right click and say delete. And you can do them one at a time if you want. You can right click and just say delete and, and do the next one, say delete the next one, whatever. Uh, so that's how that works. Okay, so go ahead and for this sake, we're going to go ahead and delete them all. All right, and I'm going to put four of the sounds on here, four different sounds. And I got I chose these sounds right here, but I chose a horse sound. That's one we already had on there, but horse sounds were in the money, which is a Caddyshack sound, like in the movie, a wolf whistle and a yabba dabba do. So I'm going to simply highlight all these and then right click and copy, right? And then you can right click and paste over here, or you can just highlight them all or highlight one at a time and just drag them over here okay what we'll do here it's going to copy them over to there there's different ways you can do it you can drag one at a time over there or, uh, right click a copy one at a time or do them all at one time right so that's just four sounds we we got on load on the uh, our big bubba four sounds wireless car horn right now cool thing now too so with this buttons the remote control has four buttons on it guys a b c and d so maybe you want to play a specific one in different orders, right? So right now, the way they would play, they'd play A, B, C, and D, because it goes in alphabetical order how it plays. This would be button A, this would be button C, this would be button uh, A, button A, button B, button C, and button D, okay? So maybe we want to run the money to play first, right? Well, let's do yabba dabba do. We want it to play first. What we'd simply do is put a one in front of it, okay? I want to, maybe I want to run the money to play the second on button B, be number two, right? Uh, horse sound, we could put that on button C, which we put three. And then wolf whistle, we would be number four, would be button D. Okay, so and then we can refresh it, show you one, two, three, four, it'd be at button A, button B, button C, and button D. Or you can do it this way too, guys. There's another way you can do it. Uh, I'm going to put A, right? That'd be button A, okay? B, and I'm doing them caps here. B, right? C, here and see and then we'll do D okay but I usually just we just uh, at the warehouse we just usually do uh, 
one, two, three, and four. Okay, it'd be button A, button B, button C, and button D. Um, normally, 99% of the time, this works just fine when you want to just set your buttons up. You know, right? So this works really good, guys. Um, to, just to upload your sound and stuff. And now all you do is simply unplug it from com your computer, your horn from your computer, and then you can go test it on a battery or something if you want to before you install it. That's we usually recommend to, just if you have a battery or uh, close by on your vehicle, you can pop the hood and, and kind of tightly tightly put the, eight, the positive and negative on a battery and just test it that way. Now, if holding it on your fingers doesn't really work well. It doesn't get a good connection. with If you hold your red and black wire on a battery cable, it doesn't work that well. Uh, you might even have a lawnmower, a ride lawnmower or something like that. You can pop the hood on that and just it's a 12-volt battery too. As long as it's a 12-volt battery, to test it before you hook it up. It's up to you. Uh, but we recommend that. But this is the way you upload your sound. It's pretty easy, you know. If you want to go back and uh, you have it hooked up on your vehicle, your golf cart or something like that, and you want to change the sounds, take a laptop out there. Don't unhook the horn and uh, take it back inside or something. It's a lot of trouble. So maybe you have a friend that has a laptop you can use real quick just to transfer files over to it. That works really well. But this this is the, the way you upload your four sounds to our big bub of four sounds wireless car horn. It's a really cool unit, guys. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we also recommend that you have a good sound file. So if you have a crappy sound file, it's, it might sound crappy on the horn because you have an amp, for one, you probably haven't amplified it. It might be a really low sound sound file when you got it off a, a website somewhere else. You might need to amplify it. And if that's the case, you scroll down. There's, we have another video down there showing you how to amplify your sound file with a free piece of software called Audacity. So you can download the software online for free and put it on your computer and amplify the sound files. So just keep that in mind. You always want to have a good, good quality sound file no matter where you get it at. Now, all the sound files that we have on our website have been tested with our horns, so we know they sound good on our, our all of our horns. So you can download any of the sound files that we have uh, as well from our website and put them on the horn if you want, right? So uh, just keep in mind, good sound file will sound good. If you put a crappy sound file from somewhere else and don't maybe don't, don't amplify it or something like that, uh, it might sound low, you know, like not as loud as you want it. So, And if you amplify it too much, it might... Uh, sound distorted so just keep that in mind just watch our video and we show you how to amplify it and remember you have to amplify it before you put it on the horn you can't amplify it you can't amplify it uh, after it's on so on the horn unit itself so you have to do it on your computer and then re-upload the sound file can okay all right guys enjoy your, your horn okay